Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for another bit of a play with our lovely background papers that we have made. So we made these recently using those gorgeous Arteza um, tempera paints. <laughs> And, excuse me, um, and I thought what we could do is come along and make some other bits. So I recently did a video using up one of these background pages. So let's go on and kind of use another one. So just, yeah, going to use this one. So what I've got, I've got four of these little cards. Now, my mum gave me these. I don't know quite. She had these. I don't know where they're from. I can't see Christian something or other. Um, anyway, she had some of these cards and she's given them to me to obviously use with my crafting. So I will probably only get time to do two. So I'm not going to try and be too over ambitious. So I'm going to put two aside for probably another video. Now, what I've done is I have just sanded down on the fronts of them, if you can see, because of course they were quite sheeny. And so I thought I'd give them a bit of a sort of key so they have something to glue to. Um, so I just used a little bit of regular sandpaper and just literally, you know, very quickly went around them just like that. Just to give them a slight, you know, sticking surface, basically, for when I'm going to be putting my paper down. And then I've got here a bunch of different papers. So excuse my messy hands. I'm filming this on the same day that I obviously did, um, you know, some of these background pages. So... What I'm going to do is collage up the backgrounds using this paper. Now, the reason I've picked this one is because the others that I did actually were on slightly thicker um, scrapbook paper. So, I mean, these are quite thick. This one's a bit thinner, actually. Um, but I just thought I'll use, obviously, some of the thinner one. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to use some book page and things. So let's just get collaging around and kind of you know see what we can come up with so just going to tear this down now i have to say this is this is hard for me because um i really like these papers and so there was a little part of me that was wanting to hoard these i know it's just terrible isn't it i don't know what is wrong with me i just want to hoard like everything it's, it's becoming a problem um but anyway never mind so I'm just going to go on and just glue some of this down. But I'm hoping that these are going to make just lovely collage sort of journal cards, massive, massive journal cards. So let's take that and glue that down. Like that. Oops. Oh dear. Look what I've done now. So, right. Hopefully you can see what's happened here. So obviously where I've sanded this paper down, some of that has kind of got pink dust now. I have now wiped it with the dry wipe, which touch wood, it looks as though it's come off reasonably well. So fingers crossed we're okay there. Um, but yeah, just I guess something to be a bit aware of if you're doing things like this, that, you know, you could have the um, paint, or not paint, but, you know, the dust could be sort of coloured I guess um right so let's go for this piece really trying my best not to overthink this so um it's always a, a challenge not to overthink but you know because once you get gluing down I don't know about you guys but then I start sort of then second you know second question you know where I want to put things or oh do I want that piece of paper or that piece and you know, so it goes on. So yeah, I'm really trying my hardest to just be a bit more, a bit more free with my gluing. So just tearing that little white piece off because I didn't really want that kind of there. Okay, let's just put that down in this gap here. Okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. What are you guys working on? Did you do some background pages? And, you know, obviously you don't need to have the things that I used if you wanted to do things. Just, you know, just use what you've got to hand. 
um, you know, I was just very lucky to be gifted some of those gorgeous paints um, from Arteza. And so, you know, of course, that was what I was using. Okay. Now, these are some of my um, vintage, like, invoice pieces and things like that that I've bought recently. At this point, these are not in my shop as a sort of blank, you know, blank original, if you see what I mean. I've had a play with some of them and some of them are in there now in an altered form. Um, but, you know, let me know if you think that these um, would be nice in the shop. So it may be that I will have used these already and put them in the shop, if you see what I mean, by the time this video goes up. But yeah, I'm filming ahead. And so at this point, whilst I'm filming, these are currently not not an item that's in the shop so let me know what you think you know whether there'd be something that you would like or or wouldn't like I mean personally I just think gosh you know you can never have enough of like vintage kind of ephemerish type pieces and things but I don't want to obviously kind of just you know be listing things that are effectively I don't want to be effectively kind of just listing things that, you know, are already out there and probably not really of much interest for people. Right, there we go. And then down in this corner, shall we have a little bit more invoice? So I've got this one here, which is slightly darker color. Oh gosh. This is where, again, I should have used my care ruler. Just very rubbish at, at thinking ahead, I think. Okie dokie. Oops, let's just get rid of this section with the white bits on there. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, so I'm going to put that down there, like that. Okay, right. Okie dokie. Oh, it's such a horrible day here today. It's just raining and raining. I think the rain's there for the whole day. It's, um, it's rained so far pretty much the whole day. I don't... I don't know, I didn't hear the weather forecast, but it's having that look about it that it's just going to rain the whole day. Right, that's that piece. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave that to one side to dry. And now let's just do the other one. Just to get our bases kind of done, basically. So again, I've just prepped this by just gluing, uh, not gluing, sorry, just sanding down some of the you know, sheeny type top surface. So I'm just going to then get some of my pieces down. Okie dokie. That's that piece. Okay, and then Let's get some of this on here. Perhaps there. Yeah, this was quite brave of me because I was wanting to hoard these pieces of paper, obviously. So actually going in and tearing it up to use as a collage, my gosh, that was really like, really brave and going for it. Haha. <laughs> Honestly, I just, why I want to just hoard the pieces in the first place is kind of, you know, you've got to question why, why am I wanting to hoard them? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. I don't think I'm alone is the only kind of quite good thing. I think there's lots of us out there who are, who are the same in that we want to hoard all these bits of paper. Right. Okay, that one there, and then 
I'm going to put that up there. The only thing is I've got this weird thing now where it's like kind of in half. There's like two halves going on, which is looking a bit strange to me. So let's just see if we can try and alter that a bit. of that white piece there. Right, let's put this here. Okay. Yeah, collage, it's a really strange thing, isn't it? Just, um, <laughs> I mean, it either, I think, comes naturally or it doesn't. For me, I'm very much still learning with collage. I think because it's quite an eclectic thing. It feels, I don't know, it feels like you should be matching things up, but of course you don't really have to. Which, you know, that's weird, isn't it? Because most things we are trying to match up. You know, most things that we do, we're not trying to kind of clash things, are we? We're trying to kind of match things. So it feels a little bit kind of unconventional, um, I suppose, compared to everything else that that we do. That's just how I kind of feel about collage. I don't know if you guys feel the same. Right, just wondering whether I could just have this piece just there. Oops. Maybe there. Okay, well that doesn't look too, too bad. So let's just go for this. I mean, to be honest, I don't need to worry too much because whatever I'm going to be putting on this, you know, ginormous, ginormous journaling card, it's going to really cover up most of the collage anyway. So, um, you know, I'm probably even overthinking it by overthinking it, if that makes sense. I probably don't need to even be thinking about it half as much as I am. And that's when I'm trying not to think about it too much. So, um, yeah, okay. Right, just popped that in like that. Okay, that looks nice now. And then, oops, my last piece is this one. Just get rid of that white edge there. Okay, and just then pop that down. Right, okay, so just stick that down like that. Right, now let me move this to one side and then just going to pull in the other one, which hopefully is a little bit drier. I mean, of course they're not dry, they're, you know, they're still quite soggy, but drier than this one. And I'm just going to trim around the edges. So I'll just move this one out of the way. Oops, let me wipe up my glue that's come out. Okay, right. Bring this one in. Oops. Okay. Just trim this down. Okay, right, so that's my first one. Oh, I love how that looks, that's so pretty. Yeah, really, really, really pretty, I love it. Okay, so that's that one. So I'm just going to do the same with the other one. Now the other one obviously is quite soggy because I've only just that second kind of finished gluing the bits on, but just go around there. I mean, as soon as you cut the edges off, I just think collage is quite strange because it then straight away looks like a more finished piece, doesn't it? While it's got the kind of hanging edges, it doesn't really look like anything. It just looks like a jumble of paper. <laughs> but as soon as you cut the edges off, it starts taking on a completely different look. Um, 
well, I mean, hopefully we're going to think that when we turn this one over. Who knows? We might not think that with this one. Maybe this one will look absolutely dreadful. Fingers crossed. Okay. So it looks nice, doesn't it? So, yeah. Let's put these bits in the bin. I mean, even this, I'm wanting to hoard this. What is wrong with me? Why would I want to hoard that little tiny weeny bit? I have no idea. Right. Now, I could do with taking these across to the sewing machine and stitching around them. Now, obviously, my glue is pretty wet still. So it's probably not the most sensible thing to do, um, you know, sewing them straight away. However, I am very, very impatient and I am doing a video. So I'm going to give it a try and fingers crossed. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and actually I was just lucky because, um, you know, it stitched around there absolutely fine, no problem. So that's my journaling cards. I mean, I have to say, I just really like them, even just as they are without even anything else even on them. Um, but of course we will put some other things on. So whilst I was, at, you know, with the camera off I just pulled out a couple of things that I thought might look quite pretty on these to decorate them up I thought it would just save a little bit of time if I tried to kind of rummage through and find some bits and pieces so I've pulled in these bright flowers so this is from my curator's collection and I just thought actually that looks really nice on there I love the pink sort of contrasting with the browns and the neutral colors I mean, you know, you could kind of leave it, I guess, quite neutral, but you know me, I can't help myself but add some um, colour on there. I've got this then bright pink flower, which again, I'm kind of thinking, I mean, this has got a flat, flat edge, so I need to have it sort of butted up against an edge somewhere. Oh, probably not like that because that's upside down. I could have it in the corner. Uh, no, that's upside down. Okay, so something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this looks really pretty, just kind of even how it is. Got these big, big flowers there. Oh, I'm just, yeah, loving it, just exactly how it is. So let's just see what numbers and things that I've got here as well. Maybe a little number somewhere. Yeah, I really love how that's just coming together, to be honest. It looks so, so pretty. Um, I'm even thinking I might not even need to ink this, you know, because it looks so lovely as it is. So I'm just going to glue this down. Okay. Not even got any doily on there, look. Okay, just love how that background looks. It looks really, really, really pretty. Love the colours of it. Love the fact it's got the texture from the um, gesso. It's, yeah, really, really pretty. Okay, so I quite like that. Now, I might just ink around here because I cut this with my Scan and Cut. And um, sometimes when you cut with the Scan and Cut, it just kind of leaves a bit of a you know, very crisp edge, if that makes sense. So, you know, although it's gone right to the edge, the white is visible because it's so crisp, if that makes any sense. Yeah, okay, so I love how that looks. And then I'm going to, I think, have that flower there. Oh, this looks so yummy. This, <laughs> this is my type of thing. Oh, I say that all the time. I think I just really love any paper, to be perfectly honest. Any paper, it's just up my street, but yeah. Okay, so I love how that looks. And I love these massive size journaling cards. I mean, of course, if you haven't got, um, you know, those postcard things that I had, which, you know, you probably haven't, um, because that would be strange, wouldn't it, if we all had happened to have those in our house. Um, but they're kind of similar size to a greetings card, a sort of standard size greeting card. I'm guessing like five by seven, really. Um, so you could always use, you know, if you've got any old cards, like birthday cards or anything like that, you could use those. I mean, failing that, you could always just cut some cardboard. You could use cereal box, you know, just to get your base. I just happened to have these. And I thought, oh, what a brilliant way to use these up. But, you know, you can use anything at all that you've got. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I'm thinking they're five by seven. One, two, three. Yep, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, five by seven size they are. So they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Really nice to do something really, um, you know, really big and sort of, I don't know, um, really bold, I guess, is um, how I would describe them. I mean, that to me, that just looks beautiful like with nothing else even on there um do we want any more flowers we could we having like an overdose of the pink flowers now do you think but oh i've noticed that i'm getting worse and worse for as i'm literally saying something no sooner am i saying it than i'm doing the opposite i keep having people comment saying oh no every time that you say oh that's enough or you know i don't need anything else I'm saying it as I'm gluing more stuff down. What is that about? I have no idea. But yeah, I'm evidently getting worse for doing that because <laughs> I seem to have lots of people saying about it lately. I have got this, flat, um, this um, number. Let's just try this. Yeah, so it's obviously something I'm I'm doing more and more often, which is weird. I don't know why I'm why I'm doing that all the time. It must be where my, well, I was going to say my brain's working faster than my mouth or my mouth is working faster than my brain. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. I have to say this is so pretty. Not at all, you know, where I thought I was headed with this, to be honest, because it had all the browns and um, in my head it was going to be quite a neutral piece. But, you know me, as soon as I obviously then started rum rummaging through, thinking, oh, what can I use as a topper while I, you know, stop the video to go to the sewing machine? Of course, then I came across, um, you know, bright and beautiful things. And, you know, there was no way I was going to be able to just do neutral because, yeah, the colour was calling me. Okay. Oh, it does feel good to use colour, doesn't it? I mean, I know colour is not really everybody's thing, um, you know, but I mean, I just think, oh, you know, we're kind of like in serious times at the moment and things like that. And, you know, the weather's often miserable and things. So, oh, gosh, why wouldn't you want to add a bit of a splash of colour to things? I mean, don't get me wrong. I do kind of envy people who can pull off the neutral things in journals because they look so pretty and I wish that you know sometimes I could just restrain myself and kind of do that but yeah to be honest I can't ever quite stop myself <laughs> so I struggle a lot to do that or to you know restrain myself okay let's pop this one down and I think then we've probably got just about enough pink on here I don't think we need anything else pink on here okay let's just press that down oh that's so 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 gorgeous isn't it i really 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 love that card oh yummy yummy just gorgeous right okay i mean i think that's kind of finished i don't think it really needs anything else i don't even think it needs lace or bling um, which, you know, again, I mean, how often do you say, do you hear me say that? I don't very often think things need lo no lace and bling, but. And again, I'm, I've done it again saying, oh, it doesn't need lace and bling. As I'm pulling out the lace. <laughs> I think, yeah, that happened because obviously as I was saying it, it was going through my mind thinking, do I need to try some lace and bling? Oh, you see... I was thinking it doesn't need it. And then what happens is I then take it away and think, oh, actually, maybe it did need it. Oh. Okay, right, well. <sighs> Let's just cut off this little tiny bit. I'm just going to tear this down.
Well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Might have been okay if it had gone under that pink flower, but it's a bit weird now how it's gone. Oh, I quite like it just over there in the corner. As strange as that sounds, it's it's kind of quite nice. Right, and again, here comes the bling, even though I said, oh, I don't think it needs lace or bling. I've now gone for lace and bling. And literally in pretty much the same conversation that I was saying about me keep doing that lately. Oh. Right, what do we think? This is again where I wish that I could actually hear you guys and you could tell me lace and bling or not lace and bling. I mean, I love it, I have to say. I love it on its own. Um, do I think that the lace and bling improves it? Uh, yeah, I probably do. Yeah, I probably do, to be honest. So, right, let's, let's go for the lace and bling, even though I said I'm not going to. Okay, right, just getting my Fabri-Tac. Haven't used that all day yet, so uh, just got to wait for it to come down. Wait for it to kind of wake itself up there, like that. Okay. So pop that lace on, and then I'm just going to hot glue, oops, hot glue the um, bling down. And I do apologise for the state of my nails. I can't remember whether I've said that in this video or not because I've been filming these kind of one after another on the same day. But yeah, it's from the um, the gesso and things from doing the background pages. So I do apologise that they're messy. Oh, I love that journaling card. That's so, so pretty. Yeah, love it. Okay, so I will just ink the back up, but I'm not going to ink the front. So I'm going to just ink the back because... Otherwise, it's just kind of a bit of a boring surface there. Unfortunately, I have picked up some, you know, bits of ink and glue and things from the desk. But again, I mean, I'm not too, too worried about that. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down behind me and then we can just make the other one. So I might just wipe down the desk, actually. Hold on. Okay, so for the second one, I'm kind of torn between these two images really so I've got this with the lady which I think she just looks gorgeous on there doesn't she or I've got this one with the building or you know this manor house or you know stately home or whatever it is um which I also really love I mean the only thing is this is not really perhaps the ideal shape for this um which is where the lady kind of you know swings it really her way um yeah kind of oh it's a tough one to be honest I mean this I like because it shows more of the background the collage background which is really really nice um and I'm thinking I could kind of tear around it oh gosh why is it so tough to decide sometimes or the lady mm-hmm oh gosh it's so hard to decide um, I wonder if I've got any other pictures that are slightly smaller. Obviously, I don't want to be here all day kind of just searching for things. So I'm kind of just trying to, you know, be a little bit quicker and just make a decision. But yeah, I mean, sometimes that's just not easy, is it? Because, of course, you know, we want to make the right decision. And if we're not feeling it, then, you know, it's not really the right decision, is it? So... Oh, right, well, I'm going to just go for her because otherwise I'm going to be here all day. Right, okay, so what else I dug out whilst I was cleaning my desk? I mean, I don't mean whilst I was cleaning my desk, but while the camera's off. Um, I've still got these gorgeous little embroidery pieces and these are from um, <gasps> Daisy's Doilies, I think it is. I would have to double check that. So I will try and remember to put that in the um, description below. I will probably forget because I'm really rubbish like that. But if I forget, please just nudge me. I'm not doing it deliberately. And, you know, I can just add it, um, you know, to the description if someone just reminds me if I, you know, if I forget, which, you know, I more than likely will. 
And the reason being is because obviously I'm filming this ahead and then what happens is I kind of leave my phone charging. Then it might be kind of, you know, 12 hours later or five hours later or whatever when I come to upload the video. I can't remember then what I've talked about during the video, to be honest. So, yeah, I probably probably will need a reminder, but absolutely no problem. Please do. Right. I'm thinking kind of something like that. I really quite like these little flowers. I think they look really, really pretty. I mean, I think she looks lovely, to be honest, you know, just on there anyway. Um, but the flowers just add like a bit of another dimension. I mean, I guess, again, it's taking it from neutral, which, <laughs> which is probably you know most people's cup of tea to yeah making it less neutral um right let's just tear around this one yeah i've used these doilies before and they're just such a lovely selection and i i think it is daisy's doilies but yeah like i say i will double check but she's got an etsy shop and she just has a wonderful selection of doilies and embroideries and things so if you're looking for some really nice, pretty, delicate, you know, doily type things, she is a great place to go. A great shop to visit. Okay. And I mean, I've used these quite a lot, to be honest, and I've still got tons left um, because she's got loads and loads in her shop. So, And I was really lucky that she um, actually gifted me a bunch. So... Okay, so I'm thinking maybe something like that. Like I say, I know obviously I'm taking away from the um, neutral, but I just, you know, I can't help myself, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Okay, do we like that? I don't know whether I like that one, to be honest. It looked a bit weird. Right, let's get gluing those doilies down, so... I mean, you could obviously, um, you know, fussy cut the flowers out. But to be honest, I think they look really pretty when they're just torn around. I think they work really nicely. And I'm just going to have that one kind of tucked in behind. Okie dokie. Oh, honestly, it's getting so chilly now. Don't know why. Right, so then I'm just going to glue her down. I mean, I could even glue her as a little pocket. Let's do that. And she's from my um, platform number two um, ephemera kit. So there's background pages and there's also an ephemera part to the platform number two. She's from the ephemera part. So she just works really well on there, doesn't she? And then this is one of my street names. So I think I just have that there. The street names, I love them. They're a little bit like the numbers in that they, you know, seem to just work everywhere. So, um, yeah, I really, really like using those. Okay. Okie dokie, so now I've got all these tiny little flowers, so I'm going to just kind of have a couple put around. Now, the question is where? Where do we want them put around? I think I prefer them probably that side. So let's just have those. And this one. Okay. Okay, and then I've got this one, which, you know, we might decide actually this is just too much and it doesn't really need to go anywhere. But might as well try it while we're, while we're here. Oops. I wonder if we could have it kind of there. What do you think? Or maybe... Oh, it's so tough sometimes, isn't it? Maybe there, I don't know, it's kind of kind of a bit weird. Um, well, I guess we could have it layered there, actually. Just kind of finishes that part off quite nicely, I think. 
Okay, right, let's just now pop that down like that. Okay, so love how she looks. She looks really, really pretty. Do we want a little number somewhere? Because I just happen to have this one with the blue. Got it in um, bigger or smaller. I think the big one's too big, ironically, because it is a massive um, journaling card. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe just have a number up here or something just to just to finish it off. And I might have the number kind of there. I'm just going to stick the number on with the hot glue because it will save me pressing it down. And obviously because it's just going across the thickness of the photograph where the photograph stuck down, you know, this piece. Not that that's particularly thick, but I just mean, you know, saves me pressing it down and holding it down. It's just now stuck, you know, which is brilliant. Okay, I love how that looks. Now, do we want to have any lace? <laughs> do we want to have any lace? And do we want to ink this up? I mean, I love how this looks already um oh can i go inkless that's the question can i be brave and go inkless for two pieces i'm not sure well let's just ink the back of it because that's you know that's just boring Oops. boring being just completely plain so we'll just ink the back okie dokie now, do we want that inky yumminess on the front? That's the question. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go inkless. Let's be brave. Right. And what about lace? Can we go laceless? I'm thinking we probably can't. Mm, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Um, yeah, inkless is probably enough. Laceless and inkless would be, well, a whole other thing, wouldn't it? I'm quite liking that with the frilly frilly top so I'm just going to hot glue this down because I'm leaving the gathered piece of lace if you see what I mean that's going to cover up that hot glue so you know I don't need to worry that the hot glue is not going to look very nice because you know this has got that whole gathered header which just covers that up completely so just trim that down there Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Right, and shall we have a piece of bling? Because everything's better with bling. Okay. Loving those background papers, I must say. They look so pretty. Uh, okay, do we want the bling? Mm. I mean, we could even have the bling down here, to be honest. Should we mix it up and have the bling down there? Let's do that. Because I always kind of just straight away go to put it on the lace, but to be honest, there's no reason not to put it, you know, somewhere else. So let's just pop that down there. Okay. Yay. So that's that one. Aren't they just gorgeous? Let me pull in the other one and we'll just have a look at them both together. Oops. Okay. So that's the two of them. Aren't they just lovely? I mean, they look completely different, don't they? And they're just kind of collaged up using that gorgeous background paper. Um, but they look so very different. So, yeah, really, really, really love them. So I hope that you like them and maybe it's given you some inspiration. And, um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, then. Bye.